What's going on guys? It's Jonah here. I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a review of the YJ Mini 3x3, 4x4, and 5x5. Just a disclaimer before I get started. YJ is not paying me to do this. Uh, someone from the company reached out to me and they asked if I would like to test these cubes. I said, yeah, sure. They said, just do either an unboxing or a review and we'll be happy to send you them. I said, okay. Um, so I've had these cubes for probably about a month or two, somewhere around there. Um, so as you guys know, I'm a 4x4 specialist, so I played around with this a lot more than I did with the other two. That being said, I was able to play around with these uh, enough to get a general understanding of how good they are. Um, so that being said, I'm actually going to put the 4x4 to the side right now, and I'm just gonna get these out of the way. Uh, overall, I'd say these are, these are pretty solid options, especially if you have smaller hands. That being said, I still would recommend my uh, Angstrom Valk 5 and Valk 3 over these. Um, that's just my preference. I was able to get some pretty good times. With this, I was able to get um, some like 58 averages of 5 and like low 59 averages of 12. For this, I was able to get some low 7 averages of 5 and like mid 7 averages of 12. So nothing bad by any means, but obviously nothing crazy for me. Uh, especially with the 3x3, I felt like this was a little too small for my liking. Uh, the, the Valk just feels a little bit more natural in my hands. Um, but that being said, these are not bad options by any means. So if you guys want to see the corner cutting, it's pretty standard for today. So for 3x3, I'm able to get uh, line to line with a little bit of force. Um, I think obviously with loose attentions, it would, it would cut a little bit better, but nothing bad by any means. The reverse corner cutting, getting about three quarters of a, of a piece. For the five by five, uh, again, I'm not getting anything crazy, but nothing bad by any means. Uh, reverse corner cutting could use a little bit of work though. But like I said, not bad by any means, but I don't think they're anything super special. So now that we have those out of the way, now onto the four by four. So the four by four, in my opinion, is actually really good. Um, I was actually able to get my PB average of 5 on this, but that being said, I still am going to be using uh, my Angstrom Valk 4 over this. Um, I feel like I'm just a lot more consistent on this. It could be the fact that I'm more used to the way that this turns and the way that it feels. I'm not completely sure, um, but I feel like this, it was, it was kind of hit or miss. I was either getting like really, really good times or I was getting like really, really bad times, so... Um, I think with a little bit more use, this could this could be up to par with this, but for the time being, I don't see a purpose of spending so much time trying to break this in and get used to it when I have a perfectly good option right here. Uh, so if you guys want to see some corner cutting, this I'm able to get uh, just around 45, and then reverse corner cutting about about half a piece. Uh, so nothing bad, um, pretty standard for today's cubes. So. That being said, I am still going to recommend my vault cubes over all three of these. They just fit my hands a little bit better, and I think that they fit my turning style better. If you guys want to see uh, more content like this, uh, feel free to leave a like on the video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you just like my content, feel free to subscribe. Alright, until next time, I'm out.